welcome back to the January house. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. Today's video is a Facebook marketplace and a yard sale haul video. So it's actually from last Friday. Uh, today is Thursday when I'm recording this. I wanted to upload this sooner, but I've been battling this like sinus infection thing I've got going on. I don't really know. I'm all congested and I don't feel great and I'm hopped up on medicine. Uh, so I've been taking it easy. So last week I was running to pick up this Facebook Marketplace deal that I got and along the way I stopped at a few yard sales. Check out some of this footage and then I'll be back to show you what I got.
All right, hopefully you enjoyed that footage. Uh, let me show you a few of the items that I didn't capture on camera. All right, the first yard sale I stopped at actually didn't have much uh, at the actual yard sale uh, for me to purchase, but their neighbor next door had recently just moved in and I think uh, they were elderly and the children were helping them uh, unload boxes and, and put stuff away and things of that nature. And they had four of these huge, this is two and a half feet, by one and a half feet moving boxes full of packing paper and really good packing paper, like barely used packing paper. And this box is stuffed full of it. And I got four of them, four of these boxes for $12. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I almost couldn't fit it all in my car because uh, these boxes are so big, but I never found, you know, like packing supplies in this kind of quantity at a yard sale before. Uh, so I was really happy about that. I was really excited. I've got packing paper for a long time now. All right, the next yard sale I stopped at, uh, didn't have that much either, but I did manage to pick up this large lot of CDs. CDs sell uh, pretty well on my YouTube auctions, especially on Sunday night when I get to uh, sing and do a little dance uh, to some of the music. So that was a good pickup. And then I stopped at a third yard sale and for some reason it didn't record or I lost the footage. I don't really know what happened. Uh, but I was able to pick up uh, these two pairs of MMA uh, boxing shorts. Uh, one is new with tags and the other one is new without tags. Uh, and they go for some decent money. I picked uh, both of them up for $4 each. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then in the footage you did see, I picked up this almost vintage Hanes pocket t-shirt still in packaging. It's a 2XL blue. Uh, it's from 1992. So it's not quite vintage yet, but it's by far the closest I've ever gotten. Uh, I see guys like Joe, the Philly picker, and other people picking up these vintage shirts and underwear, uh, new in package. I've never found that in thrift stores or yard sales or anywhere uh, until here. And I picked this up for a dollar. And I also picked up this uh, Marlboro fleece that you saw in the video. I picked this up for $10. They wanted 20 for it, but I had already gotten the shirt and some books and they gave me a deal. I asked that they take 10 for this fleece. It's new with tags. It is from the nineties. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's also reversible, which is cool. So here's the reverse side of it. And then I actually found two Facebook marketplace deals that were good. Uh, the first one is this hazard placard. Uh, so this is vintage from the mid nineties. Uh, these are the placards that go on like tractor trailers or, or big trucks to let you know what type of, uh, items they're hauling in the back there. And the cool thing is they're changeable. These things slide over. And then these clips help hold it in place there so it doesn't move around. There's like 10 of these different placards on there. You saw the poison and the dangerous one. I also have one hanging here. It's radioactive. So I thought they were pretty neat. I never saw any for sale. I have a number of them. If you have any interest, drop me a note. And then finally, I was on my way to pick up this Facebook Marketplace deal. Here's what I got. Check it out. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. They were asking a hundred dollars for uh, a Wii with some games, an Xbox uh, 360 Elite uh, with some games, and then uh, a few other odds and ends, parts and pieces in there. So I had messaged the seller and I asked them if they would take eighty dollars for it. Thought that was a fair offer and he said yes so i picked it up i sold the wii uh, within a few days and i sold the xbox 360 yesterday uh, within five minutes of listing it i listed it with two games the two controllers and all the power cords and whatnot so it was a great pickup i've already almost tripled my money and i still have a few games uh, left to sell and some parts and pieces there that are still listed so that was my friday pickups Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, leave me a message in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.